tanks of the plague followed each other into the lands of one of their main bases in the highlands of Faust while leaving behind a wake of destruction behind them. The tanks trudged on through the cold muddy grounds as they approached their destination of return. The captured daughter of the Russian father tries to stay warm while listening to the sounds of creaking tracks, while tied up as a prisoner to be taken and dealt with potentially for information against the muffins. As the division entered the base, plague members climbed out of their tanks and pulled the daughter out to take her to one of the nearby holding cells for questioning and potentially death. She tries to walk while being petrified with fear of what might happen to her not knowing or being able to see under the hood that has been pulled over her head to blind her. A door opens up as she is placed onto a seat and the hood pulled off while seeing a dark room around her and a light above slightly swaying from the wind. The door shuts behind her as she tries to look around to find out where she is. We normally don't take prisoners, a voice is heard through the dark as she faces forward to try and see who had spoken through the dim light shining down in front of her. Who is there? She replies. The commander of the mouse tank, dressed in black, decorated with many war medals, steps forward into the light to introduce himself. Strange times have led to desperate measures in finding our only enemy that stands between us and the order we're trying to reestablish. We need to know where the leaders of the muffins are. He reaches his black glove covered hand up to touch her face. Depending on your cooperation, we'll determine what may happen to you, he says as she turns away to break the connection of the cold glove on her face. While a necklace she wore is tugged out from underneath her shirt and drops down to hang off one side. The man looks down as he begins to notice the familiar picture hanging on the necklace she wore. Silence overcomes the room while the insurity of what will happen next causes the intensity to grow stronger. Where did you get that necklace? He questions while standing up. The daughter looks back up and then down at the necklace she wore. It was a gift from my mother, she replied. As the man slowly began to remove the gloves from his hands and the hat he wore to speak again. You are alive? The man speaks in disbelief and shock as the feeling of confusion overcomes her. I thought you and your mother had died during the fall while I was away on duty, he said as he too pulled out the same old small picture of their family from his pocket. The daughter's eyes begin to swell with tears while trying to speak. Dad? The man reaches down to hug his long-missed daughter, tightly reuniting them once more. I can save you. Please join us. I can make you a great commander and we can be together again, he desperately says, but before the daughter could answer, she begins to remember the Russian father who had watched over her for many years and began to look back up at her real father with uncertainty. She tries to speak while being taken back from the overwhelming moment and decision she was now facing. The leader of the muffins is not who you think he is. Our leader had once fought side by side with the German commander and knows him more than he thinks. They were both known to be some of the greatest tankers of all before the fall. The muffins won't survive much longer. The plans and developments we have in place will soon bring the muffins to their end. And I don't want to lose you again, the commander of the mouse tank replies, hoping to change her mind. The daughter starts to think of the Russian father who had been her guardian all these years as she starts to feel the anger of why she made the decision to leave in the first place. Thoughts start to fill her mind while thinking all he's ever done is hold her back and never let her do anything, even when it has come to them barely surviving this war. But now she has a chance to finally be what she's always wanted and also be with her true father again. Her father, the mouse commander, kneels down realizing the conflicting feelings his daughter must be experiencing and he gently lifts up her head with his hand under her chin. Will you join me? He asks, hoping not to lose her again. Back at the recently conquered play garage, captured by the Muffins, the leaders of the Muffins and their people work hard to repair and upgrade many of their tanks as quick as they can before the plague's retaliation can form after the distress signal had been sent from their attack. Many of the operators that had worked at the garage before the takeover from the plague were still there and freed from the oppression of the plague. 
They expressed deep gratitude for saving them and talked about how they wished to join the Muffins, even though the network of garages have always been known before to stay neutral. But that has changed after the realization of the plague's power in taking them over. They agree to help develop what they can in supporting the Muffins' advance, but know only having one garage to support them against the many the plague still have will be very difficult. The leaders of the Muffins also thank them for helping them and promise to try to get back what they can. They quickly go through as many of the plans and files they could left behind from the plague in hopes to find any crucial information that may lead them to key points in crippling the plague further. Supplies regained from now owning one of the garages started to provide great strength and support to the Muffin groups throughout the land and helped reestablish much of the lost hope felt for years before the divide. While going through the plague's files, a particular sheet fell off from under the pile and landed on the floor while the American commander reached down to pick it up while calling out to the others. As the sheet was lifted up, the leaders of the Muffins looked upon it as if it were designs to a new technology the plane had been working on here somewhere at the base. With the building number identifying the location of the models, they decided to look and see what they could find. Large doors from one of the warehouses were opened as a new line of advanced technological tanks had been found that had been worked on as an experiment under the plague known as the Defenders. The leaders of the graveyard tanks walk in with a big smile while looking around and realizing the find of their new potential upgrades. The German commander walks up to the other leaders in the warehouse with some of the documents they found. There is a counterswarm headed our direction. We need to defend our ground and advance forward to hold off as many as we can. We can't let them take these grounds. From our spies, it looks like these swarms are advancing from the key areas around where there is another garage not too far from here. If we can prevail against the retaliation, it should leave their defensive lines weak enough to break through and claim another garage and forcing them to pull back. The muffins begin to prepare for the advance to engage the oncoming swarm. The garage they had taken back has been key in helping the plagues advance closer to the only lands they had left. Tanks of the Muffins are seen quickly advancing to hold back the retaliating attack of the plague knowingly headed their direction. The survival of the attack was unknown, but with the help of the upgrades they have recently claimed from the plague, they're hoping to use them to catch them off guard and using their own guns against them to give them the advantage they needed. As they continue to push on through, dead silence seemed to overtake the land surrounding them as a radio update is heard from one of the light tanks stating that the swarm should be another few kilometers ahead. Just then, the surprising sound of plague tanks began to roar over the hills and break through the barriers around them, while the retaliating divisions of the plague come out to attack a lot sooner than expected, leaving each side to enclose on each other for the battle of their survival.
As the retaliation from the plague comes to an end, the muffins jump from many of the damaged tanks to help each other out and start to radio for support to hold the surrounding areas they have just gained. The leaders began to smile while realizing the advance in holding off the plague had been a success and the fall of the countering swarm had potentially left some of their next key targets vulnerable before reinforcements could arrive. We'll need to blitz our next targets if we'll have a chance to regain what is needed, the German commander is heard saying, as what the muffins had left in their lands had been radioed to and also started their advance forward. I guess they now know some of their new developments work, the leaders <laughs> joked and laughed together, but the Russian father starts to feel something isn't right as he turns to look on into the distance, almost sensing his daughter was still out there and that something has changed. Something that has caused an overwhelming feeling of disconnection and fear to fill his whole body, not knowing what awaits them in the war to come.